Dr. Reese. Excuse all my errors. <laughs> Thank you very much. In the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I welcome and greet all of you with the Islamic greeting of Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu. That means, may God's peace, mercy and blessings be upon each single one of you. When we meet each other, that's how we Muslims greet each other with, the greeting of peace. Now some of you, when I was putting my slides up, they saw this slide and they were thinking, how come Al Capone's picture is there? <laughs> what does he have to do with today's presentation? This is the reason for it. When I was in India, growing up, I used to watch a lot of Hollywood movies about fighting and killing and shooting. And when I was in India, that's all I thought Americans are. They all carry guns, they shoot each other, and violence, that's all I thought. I did not knew better. But when I moved over here, I was very cautious as I was going from street to street, traveling and going by the buses. I used to look behind and see, is somebody like that following me, <laughs> right? <laughs> So that's an important lesson for me that after I interacted with my fellow Americans, I found out they're just like anyone else. They're humans, they have the same aspirations, they have the same needs, and they have the same desires. So the myth which I had when I was in India was erased by the fact when I got in touch and know, knew our American citizens over here. So I really applaud yourself and all of you for coming over here and getting to know what Islam is from the Muslims, not from the media, not from the Islamophobes, and definitely not from Mr. Donald Trump. <laughs> all right. Thank you. As I was introduced, I have three children. The middle one is not mine, by the way, there. All right. That was like in Six Flags Great America. <laughs> 11 year old, 8 year old, and 3 year old. So the 3 year old he's missing, he's like running around somewhere. <laughs> so it's very important that when we get to know each other, it helps us to work with each other. And by working with each other, we could establish societies that is going to benefit each other. So it is my tradition that before I start any presentation, I want to touch, uh, check the IIQ of my audience, the Islamic IQ. Are you guys ready for it? Yes. yes. All right, I have five questions. <laughs> yes? No, come on. <laughs> These are easy questions. <laughs> okay, so this is the very first question. There are 25 prophets who are mentioned by name in the Quran. Who do you think is mentioned by name the most? Can you like raise your hand so I would know? Yes, ma'am. Abraham. Abraham, peace be upon him. He's mentioned actually the second most number of times, <laughs> 69 times. But there is someone else who is mentioned more than Abraham. Yes, ma'am. Muhammad. Muhammad, peace be upon him. He's mentioned almost the least in the Quran by name. <laughs> <laughs> We're genius. Okay, so now we are down to four. <laughs> All right. Ishmael. You have Ishmael. Now we are down to three. Yes, ma'am. Jesus. Jesus. He's mentioned twenty-five times. Now we are down to two. <laughs> yeah, fifty-fifty now. Oh, oh, Moses, you got it. Give her a big hand. <laughs> she got it. All right. He's mentioned one hundred and thirty-six times. Jesus, twenty-five times. Abraham, sixty-nine times. Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned by name only four times. Oh. Yeah. A fifth time by the name Ahmad, by the name Muhammad, only four times, peace be upon him. So the reason I usually have this slide is to show to our fellow Americans, usually from the Jewish and the Christian background, that Quran, Islam, Muslims, we love, we admire, we honor, we respect all the prophets of God. To such an extent that two of my boys, the older one, his name is Ibrahim, Abraham. My youngest one, his name Yusuf, which is Joseph, right? Who is the only lady mentioned by name in the Quran? By show of hands. All of you are cautious now, right? <laughs> Come on. Yes, sir. Say Mary. Mary, give him, give him a big hand. He got it. All right, wonderful. Mary, she's mentioned 32 times in the Quran. 
as I did my calculation, she's mentioned 18 times in the New Testament. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so so it, it looks like we respect Mary more. <laughs> Chapter number 3, verse number 42 of the Quran, it says, speaking about Mary, Quran says, so God sent an angel to Mary and the angel is saying that, Oh Mary, God has chosen you. God has purified you and God has chosen you above all the women. Above the wives of Muhammad, peace be upon him, above all the believing women. Mary, a Jewish lady apparently, she is honored in the Quran as the most chosen lady of all the ladies. By God, by Islam, by the Quran. So that shows the respect, the honor, the admiration that Muslims give to the wonderful son, Jesus, peace be upon him, and to the mother, Mary, peace be upon her. All right, let's go to the next one here. Now this one is an easy one, right? Who do you think Muslims worship? All right, give all of you a big hand. You got it. All right, wonderful. I asked the same question to a colleague of mine in the hospital. You know, Joe, who do you think Muslims worship? And lo and behold, of all the answers, the one that he chose was number C, Buddha. I said, come on, dude, man, you should know better, right? <laughs> now, there is a slight misconception that Muslims, we worship Muhammad, peace be upon him. We don't. We consider Muhammad, peace be upon him, as a man, as flesh and blood, like you and me, but a mighty prophet. We don't worship him. We don't pray to him, he's not the mediator, we only worship to the creator. Appreciate very much that you've taken time from your private life and your family to educate us. It is so needed more now than ever. You did a phenomenal job and you have piqued my curiosity. Not curiosity, interest. And you're coming to the mosque if we invite you? Yes. Wonderful. And, and of course, I would like to come to the mosque. I am Jewish and I have been to many different uh, houses of worship. Um, it's been a pleasure to be, to attend your presentation today. And uh, this is the first time that I have been in a mosque. And it's, I found it in a, uh, a ceremony in a mosque, I should say, and I found it to be very enlightening. The program was well done. Uh, the gentleman that did the program was very well prepared, and I truly uh, feel that I was informed and learned a great deal about uh, Islam that I haven't known, that I didn't know in the past. Because I think we need a term. I don't mean we as Americans. The world needs to help clear this up because we're in such a hated place where there's such deep, deep anger that all they want to do is with machine guns kill each other. Yeah. The rate of this is just, I mean, I'm 95 years old. I'm not worried for myself, but I'm worried for my grandchildren and great-grandchildren. I'm glad that you came. I got more knowledge out of it than I, I had before, so I appreciated it. So thank you very much.